everybody welcome back to veggie plot and it's that time of year again and we're going to do another tomato taste test video because i know quite a lot of people have really quite enjoyed the last one which i'll put a link to somewhere down here anyway uh, this year i've grown about i think about 31 different types of mainly heritage and heirloom tomatoes with a couple of f1s thrown in there for fun um, yeah, so I've got quite a lot of them to get through throughout the season. So what I've decided to do is to create a video as I get some um, that come ripe, as it were. Um, we've got a few that are ripe. Uh, apart from this basket, these are the spares in case we have any disasters. Um, but yeah, I'll switch over to the other camera. And this is what we're going to be looking at today. So we've got a variety of uh, tomatoes here. This one in the top right hand corner. Uh, I've never grown this before. This is a Pomodoro Constoluto Fiorentino. Uh, it's a really nice, I don't know if it looks any better here, nice and close up. It has these lovely sort of ridges in it, very rich red. I think this camera is actually making it look a little more red than it is actually. It's slightly more like this. Um, but yeah, really beautiful looking tomato uh, from I think around the Florence area of Italy uh, But yeah, it's supposed to be good for cooking with and for eating and so on. So looking forward to that uh, This one here. This is an amethyst jewel uh, It's got this lovely coloring at this sort of anthocyanin in on the base um, Again, I don't know if it'll look any better here looks much richer in color here doesn't it but yeah uh, where's the camera there we are <laughs> so yeah the beautiful colors on it hasn't it that just sort of fade in down here as they get ripe um, this lovely sort of red on the bottom uh, and this is supposed to be quite a, a good tasting tomato but I haven't actually eaten any of these yet so we're going to give uh, these a try so put that one back uh, this one we tried last year. This is cherry brandy wine and although I said I was only going to grow one, well one plant, I did actually only grow one plant but I've got quite a few of them on there. Uh, but yeah so I'll let you know what I think about that one as we go a bit further in. Uh, this little one here, now this is my favourite. This is honeycomb. It is an F1 so you can't save seeds from this. Uh, but it is a wonderful tasting tomato and one of my favourites actually. So that's that one. Uh, I'm going to come to this one last. <laughs> now this one, this is um, Lucid Gem and I grew these last year and I'll show you some more pictures of these in a moment. But I, I'm, I'm showing you this side of it because actually this is the, <laughs> this is the best side of it. But they have this wonderful colouring on them. Um, absolutely gorgeous but if I turn this round you'll see the disaster that's happening it's got a bit of blossom end rot I think here in the middle uh, and it's split obviously um, so I think uh, that's the bit we'll be trying today but it's the only uh, one that I've got ripe at the moment there are lots more to come but this is the only one I've got ripe at the moment so I thought I'll do a quick taste test of it and then if I need to revisit them I'll choose another one later on in the year right so what else have we got okay here now this one is one of the most amazing tasting tomatoes I've ever eaten uh, so far. And this is a new one for me. This is Ozark Sunrise. And it again has this lovely anthocyanin on the top um, and the lovely colorings all sort of going around this sort of ribbing lines. It's just, um, I tried this the other day and it was like a taste revelation. It was, a mixture of sort of apple, watermelon, melon, tomato. It was slightly sweet, um, not much acidity, but it had that sort of, I think it's a word they use is umami, uh, which is sort of like a, a savory flavor to it when it sort of finishes, you know, when you've finished and you swallowed and so on. It just has leaves that sort of umami flavor and it's quite thick and chunky. So it's a really good sort of uh, slicer and you put on toast and sourdough and so on. So yeah, really like these Ozark Sunrise. And then this one here, a, a bit like last year, I had a mystery tomato. And I think these are um, Sweetheart Cherry, I think it's supposed to be, but although it looks like a heart, doesn't it? You know, it's got that classic sort of heart shape. It's certainly not 
a let's get it in focus not a cherry is it it's enormous really big so i think there's been a slight mix up here but i'll i'll explain more as we go and again never grown it before never tried it haven't tried it that this year so really looking forward to giving this one a go uh, and i'll tell you and show you where i get all the seeds from and so on for all of these so should you want to go and get them yourselves so what should we do then what should we do should we should we start on this oh before we do that actually let's flick over to this camera and i just wanted to show you my website just in case you haven't seen it um, this is veggieplot.uk if you click on diary in the top right hand corner you'll get a list of some of the posts that i've written um, and the one on the left here is tomato seeds for 2023 if you click on that and it'll give you a complete listing of everything that i'm growing this year and uh, you can see here on the right we've got alice's dream etc etc and you click on say kaleidoscopic jewel here that'll just drop you down to the little write-up that i've done about it so far now i intend to do a proper write-up about all of these and what the flavor profile is like and so on uh, but yeah so it just tells you where you can where i bought the seeds from where you can buy the seeds from um, oh yeah and a quick thank you to um, niall uh, Lance and Honeyvale Farm Seeds for letting me use their pictures this year. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Right, let's just click that and go back up to the top and come back here. Right, should we get on with some taste testing? I say a lot of these I haven't tried before, so I've absolutely no idea what they're going to be like. So let's just slide this out of the way. And put the chopping board in little chopping board try and line that up okay so I'm not sure which one to start with first but let's have a let's have a go at the um, Fiorentino this Pomodoro Constoluto Fiorentino as you can see it's very ribbed and um, sort of quite flat in shape uh, so what I'm going to do is like last year I'm just going to cut through the middle um, and we'll have a look at it well just off center from the middle so we'll just cut through I'll open that up and have a quick look see what it looks like yeah look at that that's lovely isn't it that's a really meaty very few seeds right let's just switch over here because I think it does a better job actually yeah very few seeds in there very meaty um, not yeah just yeah really good solid looking tomato right okay let's let's see what it tastes like shall we so what I'm going to do is I'll cut another slice through the middle here this is quite I think as I explained in the other one this is what I like to do um, uh, put these onto like some sourdough bread uh, which you've toasted or you've rubbed over you know with with butter and, and garlic and a bit of salt and special cheese and dried uh, Italian cheese and so on and then have some of this tomato on it and it's usually delicious but we're just going to do taste testing as it stands today just as it is so we'll take a little quarter of that Right, let's just grab that with a fork. It's quite soft. That's interesting. Right, let's come over here. Okay, you can see it a bit better, I think. Should focus. That's not much help, is it? Come on, focus. There we go. There we go. Turn it around. Come on, there we are. You can see it's nice and firm, good looking. So, right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That's nice. It's kind of fruity. It's a bit of acid, which is quite nice. And very tomatoey. I'll just um yeah, just grab another one. Yeah, and it leaves that like I was saying before, um, for the Ozark Sunrise, which I tried earlier. Um, yeah, it leaves that sort of umami sort of flavour profile. Um, it's sort of um, slightly savoury, so it's a real depth of sort of flavour. So it's quite nice. Let's try another bit. Mmm. It's kind of. It's not firm like some tomatoes. It's sort of soft, not pasty. It's solid, but not juicy. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. It's not juicy. So probably quite good in cooking, I would think, this sort of tomato. Okay, so that's a nice one. I think last year I said, would I grow it again? And I think, if 
I'll just grab grab one and show you. I think I would. Yes, we've got quite a few on the vine. I actually, fortunately, haven't taken any pictures of it on the vine for this video. Unfortunately, I'll try and do that in future. But yeah, it's um, it's quite prolific. There's quite a few on the vine. They're just beginning to ripen up. This was just like that. You know that one tomato there's always one isn't there right at the beginning of the season which just ripens up like mad anyway so i think yes i would probably grow this again i might grow more actually if it's uh, this sort of firm it might be really good uh, for cooking and so on but anyway really nice I can, i've still got it on my taste buds actually it's on my tongue it's a real tomatoey taste it's like you can imagine if you were in italy or something like that this is you know something which you would have and really quite enjoy anyway right let's put that over there that's a good one that's a good start isn't it <laughs> right okay so what should we try next um let's have a quick look let's try the uh, lucid gem shall we now i think because i've got all this thing going on here i'm going to actually cut off a bit from the top here at an angle ah, look at that it's not how I'd normally cut. Normally I would cut them through the centre, but I don't think it will give you a really great um, feel for what it's like. But what I, I like these, they kind of remind me, they remind me of um, sort of like a peach or a nectarine. And they have that kind of fruity sort of look to them, you know, where you get that sort of coloration around the edge of the skin. Let me pick that up for you and show you. You can just see, there, just around the edge of the skin where it catches it. It looks quite yellowy green here, but actually, if I switch back to the other camera, I think this is a more natural light going on. This is a better color, and it has that sort of uh, nectarine look to it. Anyway, right, we'll do a taste test. Now, this was one of my favorites last year. Um, I don't know, actually, if I've got some images here somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, lucid gem yeah these were taken from last year you can see if I open this one up uh, you can see the beautiful coloration on it and that sort of pink coloring in the middle and how it kind of spreads out from the middle it's uh, just like sort of fingers throughout the tomato but really really nice and I think there's a, a video here somewhere yeah so you can see how they hang on the vine they're quite they're not massively prolific but though you get a fair few on the truss and they're quite easy to pick, but the coloration when they're ripe like this is just extraordinary, really, really beautiful. Yeah, so a really, really nice tomato. Anyway, right, so let's have a little taste test, shall we? Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, I love this tomato. Sorry, that might seem a bit overreactive, but the skin is sort of thin. You know, some tomatoes, they're really, really thick and sort of hard to get through and so on. They just feel a bit like hard work, really. This is really thin, as I said, a bit like a, a nectarine or, or a sort of peach, more, more nectarine, but the flavors are so sort of fruity. They're just exquisite, absolutely exquisite. Really nice, it's... Um, mm. Oh, that's heaven. That <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, once upon a time I was young and I rode motorbikes and I went scuba diving. <laughs> now I just sit down and uh, grow tomatoes. But, you know, I get so much fun out of it. And this, this really, really is good. Mm. Oh, I can't tell you. I mean, it looks awful, doesn't it, there? But this really really is gorgeous so that's lucid gem and i'm i'm blown away by that it's sort of fruity peachy nectarines the texture's really soft it's just it's just a really good one if you get a chance to try uh, lucid gem i would give it a go uh, my seeds this year were saved um, from last year's seeds so i just grew them again uh, and that's the joy about most of these. They're sort of heritage heirloom seeds who you they're sort of open pollinated and they will 
grow true to the ones you grew this year so if you save seeds from lucid gem you know that next year you also get lucid gem um so mine was saved but i think last year where did i get them from i think i got them from tomato revolution i've got their website up here again i buy all my seeds from these people not gifted to me um so i think it's a chap called lance who runs tomato revolution and if we look down uh he's got a whole range of tomatoes this is just like the yellow section and i think the one i'm growing from lance this year is this one here on the right on the right side called loxton lad and i think this is the one i've got growing but it's not ripe yet but as soon as it is i'll do a taste test but yeah i got my lucid gem from um lance's seed shop at tomato revolution so worth checking out if you're in the uk for for these i don't know if you can i think lance if you watch this video <laughs> it'd be really good if you put the tomato names on the tomatoes then we could just see exactly what it is so we don't have to click on them um anyway let's go back that's uh, a minor point really good seeds and thank you very much for supplying them wonderful okay let's see what should we have next Let's um, grab this one here. And this, as I mentioned before, is Amethyst Jewel. And this is a really good looking tomato. It's again got this wonderful coloring. So let's bring it up to this camera. You can see how rich it is. Um, again, I think the, ca the camera is punching this up a little bit to be a little bit too red, but I um, don't know if I can change that actually. Um, no, temperature, no. Anyway, uh, you get the gist. It is a really beautiful, uh, beautiful tomato. But never tried it, so let's cut it open and have a look. Okay, again, let's cut it right through the middle. Um, it's very soft skin, it feels like. Cuts really nicely. Um, take that through and let's have a look at that. Ah, look at that. Slightly more seeds than the uh, Pomodoro, but yeah, that's a really um, nice looking center. It's uh, very firm and fleshy. Uh, right, let's take a slice off of this. And we'll do a little taste test. Okay. That's perhaps not the best bit there, but there we go. Okay, right, let's take a through the middle it's nice and soft and firm there's the fork yeah I think I've got a bit of the inner you know part of this where the stem forms in the tomato here but we'll try it anyway and see what it's like so yeah it's uh, quite a nice looking bit of tomato anyway not talking let's try it mm. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? Different parts of your taste of your tongue have ta different taste buds in, and they pick up, like the receptors pick up certain flavors. And on initially just trying this, it's not that full of flavor. Hmm. It's soft. It's got a lovely texture, sort of silky. Hmm. When it finishes, it's got like a creamy sort of flavor to it. It's really interesting, sort of like a creamy bit. So I think what I might do actually is, I've I've cut that bit there. I wonder if that's just not maybe the ripest bit. So I think it ripens here maybe more. So let's, let's try a slice off that. See if that makes a difference. Okay, right, let's have a look at that. So it's a lovely, lovely color, lovely texture. Skin's lovely. It's very thin, which is great. So let's try this bit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? It's not as full flavor as the others. Not my favorite so far. I think it's a beautiful looking tomato. Maybe I just need to give it a little bit more time um pick one later slightly in the season when it's a bit riper but at the moment not so much my favorite which is interesting i thought amethyst jewel 
there's going to be a winner. Right, let's just pop that over there. Let's try one of the small ones, shall we? This is Cherry Brandywine. We've tried this uh, last year. Flick you over so you actually know what I'm talking about. Um, this is Cherry Brandywine. Um, it's small, grows very profusely. There's absolutely dozens of them on, uh, on the truss. So we'll just flick over to the other camera and we'll have a look at um, photos. That's Lucid Gem. And cherry brandy wine, yes. You can see I've got a little video here. This was from last year, and you can see how many grow uh, on the truss. Uh, just lots and lots and lots of them. Uh, but the interesting thing about them is that um, when they're on the truss, it's really hard to pick them off. Uh, you have to use a pair of scissors, and they sort of hang on there all season, getting riper and riper. And if you don't pick them off, they'll just go mouldy, and they still won't drop off. It's quite extraordinary. Uh, but yeah, they're a really nice looking little tomato. And um, we just flick over. Yeah, they're sort of, sort of a cerise pinky red. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's try it. It's more of a, a classic flavour profile, I think. More sort of that little tomato that you would get on the side of your plate in a restaurant, but with more flavour. So let's just uh, pick, that up. Let's pick it up, this one, just to show you. So again, I did the review of this last year. You can see it's a very pretty tomato, wonderful colours. Uh, the seeds are a lovely yellow. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a little taste test, shall we? Mm. Oh, that's complex flavour. That's not like a red tomato you get in the shops, let me promise you. I think I said last year, if you put this on a plate, you'd go, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, that's a really nice flavour. I can't explain it. Lots of depth to it. There's quite, there's an acidity to it. There's a tomato flavouring, obviously, to it. It's not fruity, but it's got something else about it. I'm not quite sure what it is. But this one is really ripe. Mm. Sort of floral. But a sharpness. I'd say stinging nettle <laughs> in the UK. That sounds funny, doesn't it? But it's got that sort of greenness to it, like a grassiness to it. But it's 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 nice. It's really nice. I don't think last year I really rated that very well. But maybe I just hadn't let them ripen enough. So would I keep that one? Um, yeah, I think definitely I would. I think that's a, a really pretty um, tomato. I've got some here in uh, that little basket. And the one funny thing about them is that they do grow these funny sort of nodule bits on the top, which is kind of unusual. So not quite sure why they do that, but, but they do. Anyway, right, so what else have we got? Right, let's um, save the little one. Now this, let's do the biggest one I've got. This is just huge tomato. And as I said, this came from Honeyvale Farm. And if we have a quick look actually, over on their website. Um, they are on, I think they're only on Etsy as it goes. And this is where I got a lot of my seeds from. They just have a really nice catalog. Oh yeah, they did the Pomodoro Constoluto here um, in the middle on the, on the left. Uh, but yeah, so they do lots and lots of seeds. Um, but as I say, I think this was supposed to be, uh, let's just come back here. I think this was supposed to be this, um, What's the name? Of, did I say it was like a sweetheart cherry, but it's, a, <laughs> it's certainly not a cherry, is it? It's just enormous and inside of my head. It's a, it's a really big, juicy looking tomato. So if I were to say go and get the seeds for this, I don't actually know if you'd get what you're um, expecting. Uh, but anyway, let's cut it open and have a look. I say it's really big. Uh, uh, this is this actually would be a brilliant slicing tomato. This would be really good. I uh, just I haven't got any sourdough, sourdough butter toast. Right, let's just cut through. It's kind of soft. Skin feels soft to cut through. Feels firm, but I haven't even cut one of these open yet. So let's just see what it's like, shall we? Ah, look at that. That's a beautiful looking tomato. Let me bring you over. Yeah, that's a really 
thick, juicy, slicing tomato. Look at the colours. Very few seeds, quite fleshy, so quite firm. I like this sort of odd, this sort of pinky colouring you've got going on in the middle here. Really pretty. Right, let's um, put that over there. And we'll do a slice through, I think. We'll cut a bit off. Through there. Okay. Right, I think my chopping board's moved a bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to try this bit. If it shows better on the camera. Sort of a very pink skin. It's like a bird. Right, don't know what this is like. Let's give it a go. Thin skin, quite pasty. So the flesh is soft, pasty, not full of masses of flavour. There is a little bit of tomato in the background. There's not much acidity. It's certainly not sweet. It's not fruity. So, oh, come on. There we are. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? It might be really good. If you were to pair this with other flavours, you know, if you were to put this on sourdough toast um, with butter and garlic and cheese and a bit of basil and olive oil, I think it would probably be really, really good. But on its own, mm. it's a bit so-so. Mm. We'll have to see what the others are like. This is like the biggest one and the first one that ripened. So I've no idea if the others will be any better than this. But just to cut you back to that. It looks great, doesn't it? But it's not... Not that full of flavour. So it might be a good cooking tomato. As I say, it might be good on sourdough or something as a slicer. But definitely not in the same league as the others. Right, let's put that there. Okay, let's try one of my little favourites. Oh, that's dropped off. <laughs> one of my little favourites. And that is honeycomb. And now uh, honeycomb, these are from Sutton's. They're an F1 absolutely stunningly good tasting tomato and I think I've got some pictures here if we just go back to the gallery uh, yeah these are some pictures from previous years uh, you can see how how big sort of big they are and how they grow on the truss um, they ripen up really quickly some of the earliest ones to to ripen um, they are very, very sweet, easily rival Sun Gold. I grew Sun Gold last year and I still prefer these. So, yeah, these are really good. I think this is a little video. Yeah, just a, a delightful, delightful tomato and lov lovely trusses there. I haven't managed to actually to to get them to all ripen in one go. They're, and anyway, they don't last that long. They're sort of the snack tomato in the polytunnel. But the children love them. Uh, my wife loves them. They're very, very popular. But I'll cut one open. You can see what it's like inside. But to be honest, that isn't what's important with these tomatoes. They're delightful, aren't they? Look at this, a lovely little golden sort of sunshine sort of color. I don't know if I can get that to focus on that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Really, oh, pretty. Anyway, the main thing about these is the flavour. Oh. It just knocks my socks off every time. There's so much flavour in there. And it's not like, it's not a classic tomato flavour. It's, um, it's sweet. It's floral. It's very sweet. It's sort of floral. It's uh, It's got a good depth of flavour. There's a slight acidity to it. I love those colours, aren't they great? You know, that sort of green and so on. But soft skim, not pasty, not hard. It's a complex flavour, actually. When you let them ripen, real complexity to it. I can't describe all the levels of flavour, but if you get a chance to grow honeycomb, uh, I've got some more here, which I <laughs> may snack on later. Uh, but yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. One of the best, really, really are. I'll put that there um, just to remind you uh, that's one that we've eaten today. Okay, so what should we try next? Should we try uh, the Ozark Sunrise? 
uh, that is this one here um, very beautiful tomato got this lovely coloring on it a bit like the um, uh, amethyst jewel um, really really good looking tomato and yeah really dark anthocyanin on the shoulders so let's uh, let's cut this one open again quite flat this tomato is I've got others actually let me just show you um, they do come in all sorts of <laughs> shapes so not just a standard tomato shape this is a, another one which I picked the other day kind of a day or so ago um, very interesting shaped tomato but anyway let's uh, get back to this right let's just cut through the middle again a very soft skin very soft inside just open her up ah look at that now that that's stunning yeah I tried one of these the other day and I was blown away I was I really was blown away by the flavor of this there are so many different flavors in it such a complex flavored tomato uh, but so fruity looking just amazing so I'm just the way the camera works is if you go that way to me this is the left but to you I think it's going the other way <laughs> it's all a bit confusing you know trying to get things focused and lined up but yeah isn't that a pretty looking tomato it's like a firework all the little fireworks going off anyway enough of that Let, let's um let's try some so I'll put that there and I'll try this bit here cut through that's a real nice feel to it when you cut it it's quite firm and uh, let's get the fork all right flick you back uh, is that gonna focus yeah quite a good looking bit of tomato right let's give it a flavor a uh, taste test mm. oh that's really interesting <laughs> really interesting I have to have another bit <laughs> It's floral, it's soft, the skin is very thin, which means you haven't got to chew through anything. Uh, the flesh is firm, definitely not pasty. It's sort of got a juiciness to it, but it's not overly sort of juicy. Um, it's got real rich florally notes. It's, um, let me try another bit. Mm. Oh, I can't explore it explain it there's flowers it's watermelon there's apple grass well it sounds weird when I say that doesn't it but it is it's like a freshness to it and there's actually this one's missing that sort of umami flavor which I let's put you back here um, got from my previous one that I had earlier in the season let's just take a bit off nearer the stem because I think that's where I picked that flavour up before. Let's try this bit. Mm. Yeah, it's sort of firmer, sort of a crunch, not crunchy, that's a wrong word, don't get me wrong. But it has this sort of resistance to it. It's not pasty, definitely not pasty like this one was. Uh, and it's not overly firm like this, the Pomodoro. Um, it's quite similar to Lucid Gem, um, but it is brilliant. It's just really, really, it's really nice. So the flavours so far, my favourites actually so far, if I were just to put them down this side and those on that side. Um, sorry, I'll switch you over to the correct camera. Um, yeah, the Lucid Gem, this gorgeous Ozark Sunrise, stunning. And the F1 honeycomb are best so far. And then I think we would go up to here to the Pomodoro. Uh, and then I think the Amethyst Jewel. And then this unknown one uh, right at the end so far. But I have been saving one to the very end. And uh, that is, I've got two of them. Let me grab them. Now these. These are Kaleidoscopic Jewel and it's just the coloring on them they have this rich sort of mahogany colors uh, reds golds hints of green purples and this lovely dark anthrocyanin up on the top especially this one uh, this one 
this is obviously which one? This one. Uh, obviously got more sun on on it, I think. Uh, but yeah, they have this sort of size. They're a bit like an apple, you know, like apples. Um, a just really decent size looking tomato. But I don't know what they taste like. So for all saying of what it, how good it is, I have no idea what it's like. So let's open this one up, shall we? Cut this one open. So I just love these colours. They're just um, a really photogenic tomato. Right. Let's cut through. Very soft skin, very soft flesh. It feels a bit like the Lucid Gem. Let's just put the knife down. Open that up. Ah, interesting. Quite a lot of seeds, which, um, yeah, not sure what, what portent that has. Let's cut, slice through. There we are. Put that over there. Right, so yeah, this looks more like a traditional tomato, doesn't it, with these sort of chambers with the seeds in. So we'll cut through and get the fork because it's quite juicy. So bring it over here. Right, there we go. I'll focus that. So yeah, it looks like quite a traditional tomato with just beautiful, beautiful skin to it. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Well, that's interesting. Mmm. It's got acid to it. Tomato fruitiness. It's similar to Ozark Sunrise, but maybe slightly more tomato-y. It's got that sort of... It's not metallic, is it? But it's that clean, grassy flavour, um, which you can get off some tomatoes. Let's try another bit. Yep, so that's... Oh, focus on the tomato. It's more important, not me. Oh, definitely, definitely got that umami ness to it. It's not as firm um, as some of the other tomatoes we've tried. It's definitely got that acidic twang to it. Um, so I think that, you know, in relation to how things are ordered, <laughs> apart from those two yeah that it's really really nice yeah that's great so that was um, kaleidoscopic jewel and uh, yeah I think out of all of them to look at the kaleidoscopic jewel wins the prize for the best looking tomato quite extraordinary um, the sweetest well that will go to the tiny little honeycomb that's really, really sweet. So I'm rushing ahead with the scores here while they're fresh in my mind. Um, let's flick over. So yeah, so my favourite of all of them is Lucid Gem. And this is just stunning. That's my favourite. Uh, then I think this one here. This is Ozark Sunrise. Then we've got my lovely little Honeycomb. And then we've got Kaleidoscopic Jewel. And then over here we've got the Pomodoro. Uh, and here we have the amethyst jewel and then this is the unknown which I think was sweetheart cherry but yeah not convinced about that one anyway I'll just quickly flick you over because I just wanted to show you um, a couple of other uh, sites here so I also get my seed from Nile over NR tomato seed he's in the UK independent grower uh, I've got most of mine from him this year. I've got Alice's Dream growing, Amethyst Jewel we've just tried, Black Beauty. Um, I've got growing um, Brad's Atomic Grape here in the middle. I've got that one growing. Uh, look at these Cosmos. They're really stunning, aren't they? Those on the right. Beautiful. Anyway, and Kaleidoscopic Jewel here down in the bottom right. Uh, but yeah, so you can buy if you in the UK, you can get them from Nile, they're great. I've also, I've mentioned Lance and Tomato Revolution and also uh, Honeyvale Farm. So these are where I get all my seeds from. Okay, well that brings this taste test video to an end, I think. Um, I hope you found that helpful. I'll try and do a write up on all of them uh, in the blog post. And the website is going to be expanding over the next few months. 
Um, I've got lots of ideas for products. I've also got write-ups on tomatoes and seeds I'm growing and so on. So it's just been very busy with other stuff, so I haven't had a chance to populate as much, but it is going to get more and more um, information added to it as soon as possible. And also, don't forget, there is the members area. If you um, are interested, you can go over and for free, let me flick you over there. Um, if you click on the join button in the top bar there, um, you can join absolutely for free. Um, and it gives you access to about 40 free resources that I've produced and I'll update every year. Um, but there are also going to be lots of other things in there soon too. Right. Okay. Thanks for joining me. There will be more taste test videos. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven or eight tomatoes today. So there are lots more to come. So I hope you um, hope you enjoy them. Let me know uh, what you think and if you've got any comments or uh, suggestions, etc. Okay. Bye for now.